Hello and welcome to this episode of Hampton Roads Business Live. My name is Rory Graham and I'm your host and today we have the pleasure of having with us Barbara Bauer Chen from JB Property Solutions in Chesapeake. Welcome. Thank you very much. Why don't you tell us what is JB Property Solutions? We're a real estate solution company. We have okay. a licensed agent but also we buy directly from sellers. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. <laughs> Definitely. Bit. Okay. All right. And um, and uh, so you work throughout Hampton Roads, um, both Peninsula and South Side, or just we, South our Side? Our primary focus is the South Side because then we can really, you know, keep in tune with the market. If we, you know, have business everywhere, then we might not be able to keep our finger on the pulse quite as well. Right. Okay. So um, you're a real estate agent then. Yes. And and then, um, so are there fees and commissions involved in what you're doing? Well, if I do traditional real estate representation, which I do also, because mm -hmm. I just, I love it. So if I work with sellers or buyers, then um, I get traditional commissions. I can, um, usually I've bought appliances or different things for my clients. It just kind of depends on the deal, but uh, I'm willing to, okay. to negotiate those types of things. But if we buy directly from sellers, then I don't charge a commission. Hmm. Okay, so what type of homes do you buy? Our primary homes that we buy, or properties we buy, we buy commercial also, are some properties that are in some sort of distress, either a financial distress situation or physical distress situation. Okay, so uh, if I'm behind in my mortgage payments, can you buy my property? Absolutely. And one thing that we've done before for some of our clients is we've brought that mortgage current and made on-time payments in their name for while we're doing the renovations. And then once that property is sold, they can see a boost in their credit score as well as a result. Okay. All right. And um, so what kind of education or training do you um, have that relates to this kind of work? I mean, you said you're a real estate agent, of course. Yes. So I've done the training and qualifications to become a licensed agent. Okay. Also, my husband and I are career retired military, so we've moved. <laughs> <laughs> so you're experienced. <laughs> Absolutely. If you so have a military experience, then move <laughs> First-hand experience, and then plus I've, I've helped a lot of people buy and sell their own homes, and we've uh, bought and sold our homes. So, um, you know, both on the personal side and on the business side. So experience in various types of properties and various types of title situations and um, seller distress situations and working with banks. So I've seen a lot of different types of situations mm. and we have an awesome team of professionals so we can help in, in various types of situations. Okay, so do you have a standard pricing um, uh, system for, for the service? For traditional real estate representation, kind of the standard pricing is 3% a commission, but uh, um, as far as buying or selling the real estate, um, for if we buy, we don't charge, and typically a seller is selling, especially in the case of financial distress, because they don't have money to fix up their house to list it you know, in a traditional way. Mm -hmm. So you know, we'll buy it, we'll pay all the closing costs, we'll pay any um, liens or any debts that are associated with that property in order to make the transfer smooth and easy. Okay, and um, so, um, you know, we were talking earlier, how, I know, because <laughs> we were talking earlier, but how did you get involved in this? Well, after I retired from the military, I was a stay-at-home mom, I've got four children, and uh, just wanted to find a career that fit with that, where I could be home, or I could be at appointments, or I could volunteer, chaperone uh, for my kids, and just have that flexible lifestyle and real estate fits that very well. And you, you've done quite a few of these projects. Um, do you have any one that stands out? Absolutely, okay. actually two. I, I love the historic okay. properties. So we've got a, a commercial mixed use historic building and also a 1924 um, Craftsman home that we restored. And it was oh. completely, it was vandalized. It had no working systems at all whatsoever. Mm. So we completely brought it back but still maintained a lot of the character in the home. So that was, those two were both my favorites. That's, that's a, a bit difficult doing um, uh, historic homes, isn't it? it it's, it's a little more difficult because you gotta, I would assume you've got to, I mean, you don't go down to Lowe's and, <laughs> 
Well, uh, you can do a combination. Uh huh. Um, and especially if you're in the historic areas, then you've got to maintain the wood windows and certain other. That's what I meant. Yeah. Finishes, yes. And so you definitely it makes a difference with the materials. Uh, some of the materials in the interior of the home, you have more flexibility to use what you like or what's popular in the in the buyer's market right now because it would definitely provide the finishes that buyers are looking for in today's market. Uh, well, I, d I, did a, I, I did an interview with a window guy and, and he, he specialized in custom things mm. and so that's why I knew that there was a difference Absolutely. because he and made a big deal out of it. Well, yes, the historic <laughs> windows, uh, one thing that you can do also is you can repaint them. So the local glass companies here have helped us with those types of things too. Yes, okay. So. Well, you are knowledgeable. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <How about that? laughs> okay. So what advice would you give a customer looking to hire a provider in your area of work? Ask a lot of questions. So, okay. you know, for you asked about free structure earlier. Mm -hmm. um, our time, our advice is free. So we can, you know, go to your house and give you an assessment of what type of work we would do if we were to buy it and just kind of let you know your options. A lot of times we like to provide multiple offers. So depending on the situation, we may have different ways that we can provide the solution to that seller. Um, but you know, in case you're hiring a traditional agent or working with investors, just ask a lot of questions and speak to multiple people so you know which one is the best fit for you. Okay, all right. Uh, have, is there anything I haven't covered? I don't think so. Okay, so I did a pretty good job. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, so if you have a property uh, that you would like to uh, put on the market or you are in distress and you need some help, I'm sure that you could give Barbara a call. Um, their contact information at JB Property Solutions is at the end of this video and it's also at the bottom of this page and I'm sure they could uh, help you out. Uh, I. Uh, you know, wish you a great deal of success. Thank you very much. And uh, I, uh, I, I, I know that uh, the real estate inter industry is booming back again. So, so uh, hopefully we're in for a few good years of that. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. Thank right. you very much. Thank you.